Hello folks, this is Sue Bell from ThemeZoom.com and I'm here today to give you an example of how you can take a page in an unstructured website that's ranking for a keyword and add some structure to that website that will help increase the ranking for that keyword. So let's say that you've got a keyword bicycle parts and you're ranking in the 40s, 50s, maybe even in the 200s, 300s for this keyword. You want to push that up onto the first page. What I would do, and this is it depends on how competitive the keyword is as to how many pages underneath bicycle parts I would add, but I would add at least five pages and I would link these five pages together, I would have a menu, what's called a subordinate menu, a, uh, an article silo level menu that um, has all five of those pages as well as the silo landing page. And I would put that menu on all six of these pages. So then you've got all six of those pages tied together via menu linking structure. And then within the body of the text of each one of these pages, um, let's say that this is this page is talking about bicycle seats, I would, somewhere in that text, I would mention bicycle parts, and I would make a link out of that term, bicycle parts, and I would link it back to your silo landing page. So then what happens in effect is that you've got a menu link from the silo landing page to the article page, but you have a contextual link, you have an anchor text link from the article page back to the silo landing page. The contextual link um, has more weight in Google than the menu link does and so that's going to provide more oomph from the child pages back up to the side of the landing pages um, to the side of the landing page and will help get that term ranked for its main theme. Now the other thing that I would do is I would take a look at what links were already um, going to and coming from your silo landing page, your, your original page that sits, sits in your website, and I would evaluate the themes of those pre-existing links, um, the, the pages to those pre-existing links and from which those pre-existing links come, and anything that's not related to bicycle parts, to that main term that you're trying to rank for, I would either get rid of those links or if you can't get rid of them because of usability for the website, then I would at least put a no follow on those links. And what that's going to do, what you're, you're actually trying to do is you're trying to tell Google on your website, this is the theme of this page. If you can establish that on your website, then you don't need nearly as many inbound links to establish that theme. So see, that's what Google is trying to do. They use a combination of on-site factors as well as the inbound links from off-site to establish the theme for the page and, and decide which keywords that page should rank for. So if you, the, the more that you can establish that theme on the website, the fewer inbound links you need to establish that theme. And so what we're trying to do here is give the maximum amount of on-site linking kudos to establish that theme by using the contextual links as well as the menu links and say this is what this page is really all about and um, and then that along with whatever inbound links you've already got should be enough to allow you to see some really good results. Now the last couple of changes that Google has made um, has added even more weight to the silo structure effect to if they've put more weight on the on-site linking structure than they have to the inbound links because they've got so many people that are trying to game the system with inbound links. So the folks that I know of that have got really good silo structures um, where everybody else is, has lost some ground, the guys with silo structures have actually increased or at least haven't seen a difference. And uh, it's still a strong theory today. So. That's my advice. This is how you can increase your rankings for, um, for an unstructured website. This is Sue Bell from ThemeZoom, signing off.